Happy Christmas. Well, soon anyway. So, it is nearly Christmas. Ah, oh my God! <laughs> and you know I love Christmas, right? Well, some of you do. So, I'm going to be making a few Christmas projects over the Christmas holidays. Uh, and I thought I'd start off with a quick and easy one that maybe you could try at home. Now, I do have a few Christmas projects to push out over Christmas, so stay tuned. So this one is going to be a quick one. Now I know I don't ever seem to get a quick video out, but my intention is always good. <laughs> oh, always got to start off with a cup of coffee. So I'm going to be using these little badges. Oh, 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 eh? Look at the colours and them. I love colours, as you know. Someone sent these to me, or gave them to me. I can't remember now, but thanks. <laughs> Because um, I've only got the packets now, and I can't remember. I think I did mention the person that sent this down to me ages and ages ago. Um, wrapped up, I've got two packets of all sorts of bits and bobs and wiggly biggly bits that look really Christmassy. So I thought I've got a little bit of leftover resin. Let's see if we can make something pretty cool with this. Okay, so it's ready now to put in the pressure pot. It's looking pretty cool, really funky. I can't wait to see how these are gonna come out. I don't actually know what they are, but they're gonna look pretty good. <laughs> okay, it's in there. Now we just gotta wait, be patient, and let the bubbles come out. <laughs> Christmassy. <laughs> so here we go, folks. This is what you can do with a bit of leftover resin. So I had a bit of leftover resin. I thought that these might make a cool project. And they look really nice. Look at this. Wow. I mean, you know what I'm like with colours and and stuff so this is going to be really cool um okay let's get these out they should just drop out fairly easily he says <laughs> come on two thousand years later <laughs> there we go Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. hey who likes shiny things <laughs> me <laughs> so that's looking pretty cool we could just leave it like that what do you reckon <laughs> right get the rest of these out okay so they need a little bit of cleaning up but that's going to be fairly easy to do uh so i'm going to give these a little bit of a uh, sand this side's pretty 
pretty cool actually as it is so can't really see through them so i was thinking maybe initially we can see you know we can have something like seeing through but i put quite a lot of them in there so probably not so i'm wondering yeah i've got an idea i think So look at the colours in this chunk of wood, eh? <laughs> That's beautiful. I never even knew that there was any purple in it, which is weird. It looks like there's a bit of kind of yellow and green in there as well. So kind of my idea, my plan, Stan, is to try to sort of get these inserted in here. And we'll make something funky with it. I don't know yet. I don't know whether it's just going to be some, some really nice coasters or maybe we can make some kind of little tiny bowls with these in the bottom of them. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. I'm trying to think. <laughs> I'll think as we go along. It's looking good and funkadelic, but we're not finished yet. <laughs> we still got a bit of wood left and I don't like wasting wood. So we need to make something else so that it kind of all matches and goes together. I'm thinking maybe a little vase, although I don't think I'll get a vase out of that. Maybe a bowl then. <sighs> yeah, a bowl. So this is looking pretty neat. So far, so good. Not too sure what this wood is actually, but it is quite nice. I like the kind of like the white in there, you know, against the, the brown. So that's quite nice. Uh, might need a little bit more sanding down here and some places, but I think we're almost ready to flip this over. So I'll do a little bit more finish off camera and then I'll flip it over. I think this will make quite a nice little addition 
to our um, little dewberries over there. What do you reckon? I think we need to put some colour in this bowl though, don't you? Okay, into the pressure pot she goes. Soon, and I reckon these look pretty Christmassy. I don't often honk my own horn, but I like these, and I hope you guys do too. But there's the bowl, looking pretty cool. Look at that, shined up really nice. I put that on the buffing wheel, and buff that up, uh, which looks quite cool. Definitely looks kind of funkadelic, don't you think? Got my number 15 emblem in there. I will be dropping a little bit of resin in there as well just to finish that off. I always kind of do that now just because the super glue that I glued this in with, um, it never lasts. You know, a couple of weeks, couple of months, it pops off um, and that's no good really. So if I seal that a bit with resin, just a little bit of resin, that will be on there forever. Then we got these bad boys as well. So we've got these looking really nice. Put my emblem on the back there as well, burn those in there using old Von Hank's uh, emblems. Von Hank is on Etsy if you want to check him out. He does all these branding irons, pretty cool. So we've got a set of three and a bowl. So I, I, I assume it's kind of like a set, I suppose, I don't know. A set of something, I don't know. You put your bowl of cereal on there, you can put your cereal in there. No, you can't put your cereal in there. It is really just for show, so you could pretend to put your cereal in this and then you could use this as a kind of like mat so there you go sits quite nicely on there and you could just pretend but well, you could probably put maybe keys in it or money or you could just hang it on the wall nah. well i hope you like this one <laughs> it was a little bit uh christmasy it definitely isn't gonna be a quick video. Now I've got to the end, even though I initially kind of thought that I would make a quick video. Had some leftover resin, I thought, well, let's just use this. We'll make something Christmassy with it. Um, and it didn't really, I, I didn't have any idea 
what I was going to make, as you probably already gathered. Um, and well, we've got, I don't know, coasters maybe? And a funky looking bowl. Well, I'm sure what wood this is, um, although I have used it before. It's come up lovely actually, look at that. Beautiful. Look how nice that looks. My grubby mitts on there, but I'll get them polished off. But I do like that. I like this, this white bit in here, cream bit. Oh, what wood is this? I know what wood this is. I just can't think what it is. Um, the apple? It's not apple, is it? It might be apple. I don't know. What wood is this? <laughs> Thank you to the person that sent me down these. Uh, I think they're like sequins, are they? Christmassy sequins. I'm thinking they're sequins. Um, they got all sorts of different kind of like, well, sequin stuff inside. Um, I think that they are sequiny type material stuff. But thanks to whoever sent those down. I'm actually not sure whether somebody sent them down or whether or not I kind of got given them at Maker Central last year. I, I can't actually remember, but there we go. So I won't waffle on too much. I will make this sweet and quick, quick and sweet. Um, and uh, let you guys get on with your weekend. Uh, sorry I didn't put a post up last week. Um, I've got a few projects in the mix. Didn't quite get to finish either one of them. Um, so uh, I've got a big one coming out very soon. Hopefully that will be next week and it's a funky looking one as well. Hope you like this one. It's taken me ages to do it. Um, haven't finished it yet, but I'm almost at the brink. Just nearly finished, but not quite. Um, so hopefully you'll see that one next week. That's really cool. You may have seen some snippets on Instagram that I've been posting, some teaser pictures. So if you're not following me on Instagram, please head on over to Instagram and check me out. I've got two accounts. One's my personal one, and the other one is my maker stuff. Please check out all the other links below, guys, that, uh, where I get my music from. If you follow the links uh, below, that helps support the channel. I've got a Patreon if you fancy supporting me over there as well. Please check out Maker Central. We're putting on another show next year. And also check out the members area as well. We're putting an exclusive, or we already have, got an exclusive Maker Central member area, which you can sign up to if you want to be a member of Maker Central. I'd love to see you guys there. There's going to be tons and tons of makers there. Do you remember Robot Wars? <laughs> this program, TV program, was absolutely amazing. And we've got the stars coming down from Robot Wars to the show. We've got the makers of the robots and the champion, Apollo. And they're going to be running shows throughout the whole weekend. Absolutely amazing. They've got a they're building an arena and everything for you guys to watch live. Robot Wars live, guys. That's just one of the things that you can do at the show. Please check it out, grab a ticket. It's gonna be an epic weekend and I'd love to see you guys there. Don't worry if you can't make it, we'll, we'll be documenting everything, videoing it and sticking it up on Maker Central YouTube channel. You might get a snippet on here as well, maybe. Well, I think that's it from me so far. It is nearly Christmas, but I do have a couple of more projects to put out before Santa hits the chimneys. I think I'm on Santa's good list this year. I hope so. Well, thank you again for watching, folks. I really appreciate everyone's support. Thank you to all my new subscribers that have come over to the channel to watch some funky stuff happen in this place. We do all sorts of things on this channel, so if you hang around, you'll find out. But there's actually tons of content if you check back all my old videos, but don't go too far back, because it gets a little bit weird. See what I mean? Well, have a fabulous weekend, folks. Take care. Love to everyone. And I'll see you all really soon. Take care. But I've already said that. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>